in the name of God, who shows goodness to those who are good and to those who are true of heart. Please be seated. The late Robin Williams, God rest his soul, was an Episcopalian. Did anybody know that? <laughs> yes, okay. Everybody kind of knows who Robin Williams is. <laughs> okay. And in one, of his, in one of his dialogues, he names his top 10 reasons to be an Episcopalian. And it went viral. And this is what he says. Reason 10, no snake handling. <laughs> Reason nine, you can believe in dinosaurs. <laughs> Reason eight, male and female, God created them. Male and female, we ordain them. Reason seven, you don't have to check your brains at the door. Reason, <laughs> Reason six, you get your exercise with pew aerobics. <laughs> Good grief. Reason five, the church year is color-coded. <laughs> Reason four, free wine on Sunday or free food or coffee, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> it's all free. Uh, reason three, we have all of the pageantry and none of the guilt. <laughs> Reason two, you don't have to know how to swim to get baptized. <laughs> And the number one reason to be an Episcopalian, um, no matter what you believe, there's bound to be at least one other Episcopalian who agrees with you. Wow. <laughs> well, while some of these have little spiritual meat in them, uh, they did get me thinking uh, about some things on this homecoming Sunday. 10 good reasons to belong to this faith community of Ascension Church. Reason 10, we are a caring community who does not force each other to do or believe anything that makes us uncomfortable. Reason nine, we encourage challenging intellectual inquiry in terms of our faith and provide a safe space to explore new information and to express our thoughts and feelings without condemnation and judgment. Reason eight, we welcome everyone and celebrate diversity as a gift from God. And we are very generous with our time, talent, and treasure, both within and outside of our doors, especially uh, to those who are poor and most vulnerable. Reason seven, we encourage each other to use our minds to think and struggle with the hard questions, and we respect that each of us has a right to our own opinions. Reason six, we engage in lively, inspiring worship, which promotes joy <laughs> and builds us up to go forth into the world proclaiming the good news of God's love, justice, and peace. Number five, we engage in worship, <laughs> which is ordered, <laughs> maintaining tradition, and we are open to new liturgical materials. Reason four, we put on great parties. <laughs> Breakfasts, fundraisers, coffee hours, and other events, which just are plain fun. We like to have fun. Reason three, we are a faith community in which healing and life-giving spiritual growth is enhanced. We especially offer pastoral care to those who are in the greatest of need, the sick, the disabled, and the dying. Reason two, love of God and neighbor is a priority. All are welcome here without having to go through some required long process of interrogation. <laughs> All in a place at this table, at this font, in these pews, and any of our community affinity groups. And reason one, here in this place, we value everyone as unique individuals and families who have an important story to tell and whose thoughts and feelings, even if they are different from ours, are respected. Wow. So for me, this pretty much describes uh, our faith community. 
And if I didn't find ascension to be anything but these qualities, at least most of the time, we're not perfect, okay? I would have moved on years ago and wouldn't be celebrating my 18th year. I live my 18th year as rector with you when I, when I came here in February of 2007. Um, so wow, <laughs> I was a young one then. <laughs> we find snippets of all of these qualities in our scripture lessons today. Proverbs calls those of us who are blessed with resources to share our bread with the hungry, the poor, and those who are afflicted in any way. We are reminded that we are all kin to each other because God, our creator, makes us all. James calls us to treat everyone with equity and respect, to not show partiality or favoritism, for if we do, the faith we proclaim with our lips is indeed dead, that our faith we proclaim with our lips is indeed dead without doing good works. And Jesus in Mark's gospel, well, this is a tricky passage because at face value, it seems that Jesus at, at first does discriminate against the non-Jewish woman uh, by basically insulting her, uh, and he seems poised to not help her sick daughter. But there is so much more to this story than meets the eye. First thing being, Jesus intentionally takes his disciples into a region, Tyre, where non-Jews predominantly live. He intentionally took them there. And why would he do this? Because it is inevitable that some non-Jew would ask him for something, given his growing reputation as a healer, and someone does. A woman whose sick daughter is possessed by a demon comes to him and reminds him that even she and her daughter, who are Gentiles, still have a place at the table. And God commends her for her faith and heals her daughter. So you see, Jesus in this passage is showing his disciples that his mission, their mission, is not an exclusive one. Uh, just for the Jews, but is radically inclusive of everyone. And here at Ascension, we really strive to be inclusive. We do not turn anybody away. And it's sad when people do turn away from us, though, for any reason. And believe me, when this does happen, Terry and I and Bailey and other parish leaders try to figure out why, and we do try to reach out. But sometimes, despite our best efforts, it remains a mystery uh, why somebody left because they don't tell us or they don't reach back to us. Uh, and so Terry and I, I think I can agree with this, we grieve the loss of them um, because there's no closure um, for us. And so my friends, at the beginning of our new church year, let us continue to give at least 10 good reasons why this is a community to be part of. Let us continue to expand our table of love, love for God and love for our neighbor, because there are so many people who desperately want to come to God just as they are and be embraced by a faithful, accepting, and welcoming community. And indeed, Ascension, we can do this. Even if there are three of us or 50 of us or 300 of us, we can do this if each and every one of us rises up and offers our gifts of time, talent, and treasure and does our part to build this community of faith, brick by brick, generation by generation, both now and in the future. So friends, God bless you, people of Ascension, visitors, newcomers, God bless you. Welcome back. Welcome in and welcome home. Amen. Amen.